The excitement happens right now on Mari. They confess their secrets. I've been cheating on him with his brother. Dad is not your biological father. I slept with your mother. They faced the consequences. Welcome to Boo Cat. But what happened after the secrets were revealed? Yeah, I slept with your sister, Johnny. Did they break up or make up? She has a pimp. I even had sex for a double cheeseburger with bacon. You're not really proud of having sex for a double cheeseburger. Hey, a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger tastes good. Right, right. Yep. So Angelique promised that she would come back here to find her baby's father. She's here. Are you looking for your baby's daddy? Did they break up or make up? We've tracked them down and brought them back. <laughs> a girl? Who <laughs> gay? Oh, I gotta go. I don't wanna be with you, Perry. Is he still with Lisa? Hey, Murray, this is Lisa. She slept with her own mother's fiance. So sorry, mommy. <laughs> is he the father? You are not. The Will she test another man? And you won't believe who's back. I've been prostituted. Oh my goodness, no! He's here. But did you stop prostituting? After the secrets, where are they now? Over the years, we've heard some jaw-dropping secrets, but what happened when the studio lights went dark and the guests went home? Did they break up? Did they make up? Well, today, they're back, and you won't believe what's happened since the show. Now, this next confession involved a woman named Tasha who came to reveal a heartbreaking secret to her husband, Ryan. Of all the secrets we've had on this show, all of them, Ryan's chilling reaction was one I'll never forget. When Ryan met Tasha, he thought his life was complete. Tasha and I have a great relationship. We have two beautiful kids, and I think I got the life every man dream about. Little did he know his wife was hiding a terrible secret. I cheated on you. And that Cheyenne may not be yours. Serious? Yo, somebody pinch me and tell me this ain't true. Oh, we've been through. We came from down here to up here. And you're going to tell me you're cheating on me? My kids, my wife, it's everything to me. Everything. <laughs> Joke, sorry, yo, this gotta be a joke. Ryan, you are the father. <laughs> Who is the baby dad? <laughs> wow. Now that's the way every paternity secret story should end. Now, who could forget Casey, who was committing the cardinal family sex sin? He was secretly sleeping with the babysitter. Now, take a look at this three two appearances on our show. For about the past two years, i um, sleeping with the babysitter. Baby. Last time you slept with a babysitter. Last week on my birthday. Did you sleep with your wife on your birthday? Yeah. I love you. Yes, I should just tell you I've been sleeping with Jamie. to be with you. He told me he did. Oh, Nobody you. go home with your fat, stank ass. Jamie, I can't do this anymore. I've got to stay with my wife. So you're telling her to leave, right? I'm telling her to get the hell out of my house, get the hell out of my life. Just months later, Casey returned with another secret. Sleep with Jamie again. Wait for me. We Bring the stupid bitch out here. We I can't fucking... 
<laughs> Casey, tell Jamie you don't want anything to do with her. No, no, no. I no, don't no, want to no, be you with don't... you. I'm cutting it off. Oh, look at me. I sleep with my cousin's husband, so I'm some big <laughs> Listen to me. Oh. Just yesterday, we tracked down Kathy. Guess what? Two times with the babysitter was too much to take. Kathy says she left Casey. She's remarried. Couldn't be happy. Now, last year, we met a devastated young woman named Nicole, who, Nicole at 21, took on the extraordinary responsibility of raising her teen sister, Angelique. Now, the problem was that Angelique was completely out of control. She had a pimp. She had bragged about having sex for a double cheeseburger with bacon. Watch. And I have my own four children, and I gave up my life for my little sister, Angelique, because I love her. Angelique is like a daughter to me. I watched Angelique beat on my five-year-old son, Manuel. She hit me in my face, and it hurt. She has a pimp. I've never seen her do it myself, but I've seen pictures of him. I've read text messages he sent her. You also think she's been pregnant. Has she been pregnant? She's been pregnant twice. I may be 14 years old, but ain't no one finna run my life, especially not that whore, Nicole. I've been having sex since I was 11 years old with over 30 different guys. My people take me out on the street and sell my body for $50. I even had sex for a double cheeseburger with bacon. It's all about fast money, baby. I'm really proud of having sex for a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger tastes good. Trying to get pregnant? Yep. You're beating up your five-year-old nephew who loves you to death, and you're going to be a great mother? Yep. How will you know who your baby's father is if you got five guys? Because I'll be right back up on the Maury Show. I'll be right back up on the Maury Show. So Angelique promised that she would come back here to the show to find her baby's father. Guess what? She's here. Do you think she needs a paternity test? Or do you think Angelique has changed her ways? I don't know. We're going to see for ourselves. Here is Angelique. You look great. How are you, dear? Fine. Well, have a seat. Angelique, you look different. You're wearing a different outfit. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. And you have a big smile on your face. <laughs> Are you looking for your baby's daddy? No. I came here because I changed. Well, and I changed. wanted to thank you. <laughs> Did you watch your, sh your appearance on the show? Yeah. And what did you think? It was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Yeah. I know, Angelique, that there was somebody on my staff you thought kind of got through to you, right? Yes. Who was that? Gloria. Gloria is my producer, one of my producers. Everybody, this is Gloria. You must be very happy. Huh? I'm very proud of you, Angelique. I think that one of the things that, like she said, was watching the show and looking at herself. And after the show, she would call me a number of times and we'd talk on the phone. I said, you know what? You're going to go back into your environment. They're going to pressure you to have sex for that double cheeseburger. You need to be, brush it off and be like, you know what? That's in the past. I don't need to do that anymore. I have better <laughs> options. I said, we all have choices. We can choose to make excuses for the environment in which we live. Or we can say, you know what? I'm going to get up. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to be a positive influence in my life and other people's lives. <laughs> Guess what? You see, Gloria, Gloria is a positive influence on my show. She's a positive influence on me. So we can understand where Gloria is coming from, and you picked a great role model, is Gloria Harrison. Now, I know we found out a little bit about you, and we know you like to draw. This is from Gloria and the show. So this will get you started. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, Angelique, you know, they like to uh, write about their thoughts, and some people like to draw about their thoughts. Mm -hmm. So we'll give you that chance. And I just congratulate <laughs> you so much. Angelique, everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. Shocking sequence. Dad is not your biological father. Oh. Sex sequence. I slept with your mother. <laughs> Family secrets. She slept with her own mother's fiance. So sorry, mommy. <laughs> Did they break up or make up? We've tracked them down and brought them back. I've been cheating on him with his brother. Freddy. <laughs> Who do you think Shalanda stayed with after the show? Billy or Billy's brother, Freddie? 
So guess what, Mari? Mom, you think I'm having sex? Well, guess what? I am. Bars work great with handcuffs. And my next favorite place is the car. I like it on it and in it. Did she change her way? This update will blow you away. And you won't believe who's back. I've been prostituted. <laughs> He's here. But did you stop prostitute? They confessed their secrets. But what happened after the secrets were revealed? After the secret, where are they now? We're going to find out today. Now imagine finding out your boyfriend cheated on you with your own mother. That's what happened to my next guest, Kavita, when her boyfriend, Nate, brought her here to reveal a secret. What's the secret? I cheated on my fiance with a mother. How many times did you cheat once? What happened? She had on pajamas that were pretty sexy. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. You we talk about everything. Baby, I slept with your mother. <laughs> To me, I swear to God, you better not touch me. You said with my mother? It could be anybody else. Why I have to be my mom? It was only one time, baby. It was in the. It don't make it, it was, any better. That's I know my what mother. Oh, here's Elaine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm your daughter. I know you are. You told me you hurt me. You slept with my mother. You could at least been gay. I could have accepted that. <laughs> Happen again. I know I know not never bring another man around you. So, do you think Kavita was able to forgive Nate and her mom, Elaine, for sleeping together? Take a look at what happened after the secret. Maury, I was honest with Kavita when I told her that I cheated on her one time with her mother. Now, I don't care who's wearing sexy pajamas, I'm never going to cheat on my wife. I believed Nate when he said he was sorry. I forgave him, my mother. My mother and I, we talk all the time. Things could not be better. So you were married now, and I vowed to always stay committed to my wife. Maury, things are going so great. We hope to see you soon, Maury. Bye, Bye Maury. Maury. So after that video message was taped, guess what? Nate calls the producers back on the show to confess he has another secret to reveal to Kavita. <laughs> So stay tuned because he's going to be revealing that secret to Kavita on a future episode right here on our set. Can you imagine that? Now, we have met many outrageous teens over the years, but 15-year-old Olivia was one of the worst we've ever seen. See, Olivia's mother came to us desperate for help because Olivia was out of control. In fact, she was so sex-crazed, she sent us a video diary of all the places she liked to have sex. Watch. Look at her. Look at the way she's dressed. She's a street walker. We sent a camera crew, and we were shocked by what she revealed to us. Mom, you think I'm having sex? Well, guess what? I am, and I'm about to tell you all of my favorite places. My bed. These bars work great with handcuffs. Another one of my favorite places is the curb, because cars drive by, and they see what I'm doing. My next favorite place is the car. I like it on it and in it, and so do my men. <laughs> That's my baby. Get picked up on the sidewalk by strangers? I don't get picked up on the sidewalk. I have sex on the sidewalk. I have sex Along with the rest of the wild teens, we sent Olivia to boot camp. I believe that just like this is a joke. Well, Luna, you know what? This is not a joke. Oh, we ain't even started. Welcome to boot camp. Would Olivia's grueling experience change her out of control ways? So after an intensive stint at boot camp, were we able to get through to Olivia? Take a look at this video update. Hi, Mari. I am so proud of Olivia. She has came a long way. Well, Mari, since the show, I've learned my lesson. I became a devoted mother to my beautiful son and soon-to-be-born daughter. It makes me so happy to see her take responsibility for herself and her children. She is such a loving mother. Well, Mari, I hope to see you soon. Next time I come back, I'll show you the new addition to our family. Bye, Mari. Wow, one baby, another one on the way. So, Olivia, we're glad to hear you're enjoying motherhood. We wish you all the best. We hope that you're taking care of yourself. Okay. <laughs> Shalanda. Shalanda was convinced that her boyfriend of 20 years, Billy, was living a secret double life. You see, the night he was supposed to be taking her out for her birthday dinner at the Red Lobster, she believed he was in with another woman. 
Take a look. Do you want to know what happened on my birthday? Yeah. He promised me that he was supposed to be taking me out on my birthday. Where? Uh, Red Lobster, okay? I got all dressed, got my nails done. I didn't get no shrimp. I didn't get... Come home on her birthday. I wasn't cheating. I was out buying her a birthday present. Here's Bill. Stood Shalanda up on her birthday. Were you really cheating with another woman? You said no. That was a lie. Now this couple did stay together after the show, but months later, Shalanda brought Billy back to our studio because she had a little secret to tell him. Watch this. My first secret is that I've been cheating with Billy for seven months. You've been, been cheating on him? The second secret is that I've been cheating on him with his brother Fred. <laughs> Over 56 times. I just really wanted him to feel how I felt when he did me the way he did me. I've been cheating on you with your brother Fred. <laughs> Your brother is here. He can have a uh, he my boy. He don't deserve. She deserve a good man. You gotta understand. I forget. My one, my one. I don't want to hear this. We got six men. I don't want to hear this. So, who do you think Shalanda played with after the show? Billy or Billy's brother, Freddie? Take a look at this after the secret update. Hi, Mara. It's me, Shalanda. Cheating on me, Maury, and not taking me to Red Lobster for my birthday. But Maury, when I revealed to him that I had been cheating on him with his brother Freddie, I thought he would have forgave me because I forgave him. But he didn't. So guess what, Maury? Now I'm a single, beautiful, strong, sexy black woman. So if you know of anybody that wants to date me, Maury, call me. Bye bye. So, Shalanda, we wish you nothing but happiness, and we hope you have a much better birthday this year. We'll be back right after this. Shocking sequence. Dad is not your biological father. Oh. Sex sequence. I've been sleeping with you since. A girl? Oh. You gay? Oh, I gotta go. I'm gonna be with you, Perry. Is he still with Lisa? Hey, Murray, this is Lisa. Family secrets. She slept with her own mother's fiance. So sorry, mommy. Did they break up or make up? We've tracked them down and brought them back. And you won't believe who's back. I've been prostituting. <laughs> He's here. But did you stop prostitute? Test their secrets, but what happened after the secrets were revealed? The first time we met Scott, we realized he was a walking miracle in a terrible situation. I was born with a rare dwarfism disease, and life has been a struggle. You weren't supposed to live past 10. Right. You're 37. Yep. You were never supposed to have kids, right. and you have two. Yep. This is some miracle story. Secret is, I had been with somebody else. I don't think Jasmine is yours. Oh! Don't do this. I'm scared that you're gonna leave. Why would I leave? I got two children. This is the world. The results were in. Was Scott the father? Scott, you are the father. Hi, boy. It's been a long journey. We uh, moved on from the past of the cheese. We got married and Jessica got pregnant. We'd like to introduce our new addition, Juliet Michelle. Our family is complete and we couldn't be happier. We'd like to thank you for bringing our family together and making us a part of yours. Thank, thank you, you, boy. Bye. Bye. 
So Scott and Jessica, it looks like you guys are one big happy family and we wish you all the best. Now, speaking of families, this next story involved a woman named Jolie who was so desperate to get pregnant, she slept with her own mother's fiance, Steve. <laughs> Now, after revealing the secret to her mom, Jolie came here praying a DNA test proved her soon-to-be stepdad was not the father of her own baby. Watch. Yeah. Four years ago, I was so desperate to have a baby. Around the time I got pregnant, I was with two different men. One was my ex-boyfriend, and the other was my mom's fiancé, Steve. And I have no idea which one's my baby's father. I just wish I knew. My biggest fear is that Steve is going to be proven to be my baby's father. I'm so sorry, Mommy. It just happened. I did have sex with my fiancé's daughter. No matter what the results of the DNA test, I'll always be there for that baby. If these two get married, he's going to be the father. She's going to be the grandmother. I hope not. The results were in. Would Jolie's soon-to-be stepdad also be the father of her daughter? Mike, who could not be here, is not the father. Oh. No! You were prepared for any no! He has to be baby! In the case of three-year-old Brianna Steve, you are not the So, happily, Jolie's stepdad was proven not to be the baby's father. And after the show, thank God, Jolie's mom found it in her heart to forgive her and even invited her to the wedding. Now, as for finding her baby's father, Jolie says she's decided to put her search on hold. Now, four years ago, we met a 14-year-old girl named Jasmine who was desperate to get pregnant, and her mom, Dondra, was desperate to stop her. I started trying to have a baby at the age of 12. Ma, I know you think I'm pregnant right now, but all I got to say is, I hope you're right. What will you do if you find out she's pregnant today? Don't devastate me, cause she, she's not able to take care of a baby. They're only 14. Jasmine, who's yeah, that? This my baby girl face. I can't hurt everywhere I come. Give me this dog. I can be a mama. No, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. I don't know, man. Although Jasmine changed her wild ways, she did wind up pregnant with a baby named Rihanna. Now, although Jasmine said she loved baby Rihanna, she admitted that she and her mother struggled to raise her, which is why, seven months after giving birth, she needed our help revealing a secret to her mother. What's your secret? <laughs> My secret is that I'm four months pregnant. Broke. Because his mom gave him the wrong ones and they broke. You are barely surviving now with this one child. My mom just don't know that I feel bad every day. I go to school crying. Every time I go to bed, I cry every night because I never told her that secret. It's been hard, right? Yes, it's Since been your very hard. Tell your mother why you brought her here. I'm four months pregnant. Oh, I know we're struggling with Rihanna right now. We tried to get in touch with Dondra and Jasmine, and we haven't been able to reach them. So, Dondra, Jasmine, if you're watching, let us know how you're doing. All we want to do is be able to inform our, our audience, okay? We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Shocking sequence. Dad is not your biological father. Oh. Sex secret. A girl? Who <laughs> gay? Oh, I gotta go. I don't wanna be with you, Perry. Is he still with Lisa? Hey, Murray, this is Lisa. Family secrets. Remember when we was young and we was in that house fire? You thought it was the electrical fire? You know who started it? <laughs> you lying, man. <laughs> Did they break up or make up? We've tracked them down and brought them back. And you won't believe who's back. I've been prostituted. <laughs> He's here. But did you stop prostitute? You are the 
They confessed their secrets, but what happened after the secrets were revealed? My sister Christy means the world to me because we had it hard growing up and so she was like a mother and a sister to me. When the show called to tell me that she wanted to reveal a secret to me, I was so shocked. I thought it was a joke. I couldn't believe it. Turn to your sister. Tell her why you brought her here. I had sex with Tony. <laughs> Why would you even be with her over me? Right? You think you can forgive the two of them? No! You are my sister, and I've been there for you, and, you know, blood is bigger than water, but blood doesn't have sex with your fiancé either. <laughs> After the secrets were revealed, where are they now? This next secret involved a woman named Tamika, who for the last 17 years had been hiding a painful secret from her brother, Cardell. You see, years ago, Cardell was severely burned in a house fire, a fire that Cardell always thought was an electrical fire, until today, when his sister came to reveal to him who really started the blaze. After being filled with guilt for the last 17 years, Tamika came to reveal a painful childhood secret to her brother Cardell about the fire that nearly killed him. My mom was sitting on the couch. She was smoking a cigarette and she lit it. I asked her I brought the match. She told me no. When her and her boyfriend left, I grabbed the matches off the table and I, I struck it. When I tried to blow it out, it hit the couch. Do you think about it every day? Every time you say he want to wear shorts, every time you say why my legs got to look like this, I think about it. I'm tired of the guilt. I've been holding a secret from you for a long, long time. Remember when we was young and we was in that house fire? And you thought it was an electrical fire? I'm the one who started it. You liar, man. What are you telling me, man? All this trouble I went through as a kid because of you, right? Is it because of you? And you couldn't tell me this at home? Huh? Obviously, when you were younger, you went through a lot of embarrassment about that, didn't you? A lot of embarrassment? Man, I ain't have no childhood. Man, I've been living a life for 18 years. Were this brother and sister ever able to recover? I still love you, man. <laughs> Here's the after secret update. Maury, when I revealed to my brother that I was the one that started that fire, I thought I lost him forever. But Maury, ain't nothing tear us apart. I forgave my big sis, and we're closer than ever. That's right, we stay right around the corner from each other. We spend all our holidays together. And our kids, they act like brothers and sisters. It's good we can remain close family. I hope to see you soon. I'm gonna howl at you. Bye, Maury. I mean, that is a forgiving person. Now, this next secret is something I'll never forget. It involved a woman named Lisa who came to reveal a life-changing secret to her boyfriend, Antoine. Now, there was a third person involved in this secret, and it was who this person was that was truly shocking. What do you have to tell me? <laughs> that I've been sleeping with this <laughs> Who's his cut? Rena Rose. A girl? <laughs> tell me a secret. <laughs> I've been sleeping with your cousin. That's a girl. That's why I'm so sorry for sleeping with your fiance, Lisa. When was the last time you slept with her? <laughs> last week. Last week? <laughs> Yo, it's too many girls out there. Me and you were tight like brothers and sisters. I just asked you to forgive me. I forgive you. You don't mind the one time. I forgive you. I don't want to be with you, period. Stop chasing after me. So after the show, we received all of this fan mail from women all over the country who want to date Antoine. Which, which left, uh, left us wondering, is he still with Lisa? Take a look at this video update. Hi, Murray. This is Lisa. I bet you're wondering if I stay with Antoine or Rena. Well, actually, I stay with Rena. 
I feel bad for hurting my cousin Antoine, but hey, I'm with the woman that I love. I also feel bad, but you know, sometimes you have to make changes in life, and I made a change for the better. Thank you, Mari, for bringing us together. Thanks, Mari. Bye, Bye Mari. So Antoine is not with Lisa anymore. So who's he dating? We don't know. We can't find him. So Antoine, if you're out there, all this mail's for you. Give us a call. We'll get it to you. We'll be back after this. Shocking sequence. Dad is not your biological father. Oh. I'm 23 years old, Mom. I love this man more than anybody. He's my dad. But is he the father? And you won't believe who's back. I've been prostituted. Oh my goodness! He's here. But did you stop prostituting? They confessed their secrets, but what happened after the secrets were revealed? What's your secret? That I've been working as a male prostitute. Do you service men or women? Both. Both? If you love her so much, why are you having sex for money? Jennifer has a really serious health condition. She's a diabetic. You are posing as a male prostitute to make money so that you can buy what? Medicine for your wife? Yes. Brian is a great man. We truly have a wonderful marriage. I'm devastated that Brian has a secret to tell me. Turn to Jennifer. Tell her why you brought her here. But your medications are being paid for because I've been a male prostitute. Oh. I'm sleeping with both men and women. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Without these medications, you know you'll die. <laughs> you mean the world to me, Jennifer. I love you too, but there's other ways of doing it. <laughs> Shocking secret updates. Now imagine finding out at 23 years old that the man you believe to be your dad, the man who raised you, may not be your biological father. That's what happened to my next guest, Shannon, because when her parents brought her here to reveal this shocking family secret, she went, well, you can imagine. Watch. My secret is I dated another man when I was in Korea. And it's a possibility that he's your father. Dad is not your biological father. I'm 23 years old, Mom. I know. That's why it's been really hard on me not to tell you. But what if it's the other guy, Mom? You're still my daughter. A shocked Shannon then had the painful task of telling her sister Tara the secret. It's a possibility I could not be dad's daughter. Did you get it? I'm so sorry. I love this man more than anybody. He's my dad. 48 hours later, the results of the paternity test were in. Ed, you are the father in that. Yes! A happy ending, and we'll be back right after this. How about that? You won't believe who's back. I've been prostituted. Oh my goodness! He's here. But did you stop prostituting? You are the guy. You're off my stage. They confessed their secrets, but what happened after the secrets were revealed? Shocking secrets exposed. Now, Christina initially came here because she suspected her fiancé, Chris, was cheating on her with somebody very close to her, her very own sister, Joni. Now, 
Although both Chris and Joni denied the affair when it came time to take the lie detector, Chris made a shocking confession. Watch. I think my boyfriend is cheating on me with my sister. Why would you think that? Because she's done it before. I never, ever had sex with my sister's fiance, Chris. Chris is a cheater, but he did not cheat with me. Whatever. Whatever. Joni. Sleep with her man. No, I did not sleep with Chris. <laughs> Last night, Chris decided he wants to come clean. Come on, take your heads. Yeah, I slept with your sister, Johnny. Three times. You don't know about her. No! He's lying. I took the lie detector. Guess what? We got the results of that, too. Johnny took a lie detector test. She failed. You ain't my sister. Don't talk to me. After that explosive secret, Christina cut her sister Joni out of her life, but forgave her fiancé, Chris. And although all seemed resolved months later, Christina and Chris came back, this time because she was keeping a secret from him. Watch. What happened after the show? He changed everything. He's... You took him back. Yes, I did. Now you have a secret to tell him. What's the secret? I've been cheating on him. I tried so hard to be a better man for Christina. It kills me inside to know that she's keeping a secret from me. Sorry for what I did. I've been cheating on you out of revenge. What? I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. You broke my heart in two, and I loved you so much for you to do that to me. So you do the same thing back to me? Two wrongs don't make it right. I love you. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right, but did this double secret mean they were even with each other now? Are they still together? Take a look at this video update. Murray, I was really hurt by the lying and cheating that took place between Chris and I. Even though I told him I never wanted to talk to him again. We decided to forgive and forget and give our relationship a second chance. And for the sake of our relationship, the one person I'm not talking to anymore is my sister, Joni. Thank you for everything, Maury. Bye. Bye. Wow. All right. Christina, Chris, we wish you a lot of luck. Three years ago, we met a young man named Jovan who came to the show to reveal a shocking secret to his sister, LaToya. Now, LaToya already knew that Jovan was a cross-dresser. She accepted that. It was the secret lifestyle that Jovan was leading, however, that proved too much for her to take. Watch. My brother Jovan has a secret to tell me. I know he's a cross-dresser, and I know he want to be a woman, and I have always loved my brother. Thank you all the way from my home to New York to let you know, for the last past year, I've been prostituted. What? Why? I was saving up the money to get a sex Oh, my goodness! No! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my I promise when we leave this, when we go home, you won't do this no more. I promise. I promise. promise me. I love you. Okay. So after the show, Javon promised his sister he would stop prostituting. You think he kept his promise? No. no. He's here. We're going to find out. Here's Javon. Jovan. Wow. Well, obviously, you're still cross-dressing, right? Uh-huh. You're doing that? Yes. But did you stop prostituting? Yes, I did. Good for you. And how far do you want to take this? Do you still want your, your sex change operation or what? Yeah, I'm still considering on doing it. You are? Uh-huh. You have a job, don't you? Yes, I do. A, a job we can all be proud of. Yes, and I'm also I also do pageants and stuff now. So. Oh, you're in pageants. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. All right. Where's your sister? Why isn't she here? Um, she's at home. Unfortunately, she had to stay home with the children. Okay. So. All right. You want to say anything to your sister? Yes, I want to say I love you. Thank you for being number one and being there for me. And I'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks, Jovan. Good luck to you. Thank you. Mary. Stay off the streets. We'll be back right after this. Thank you.
Thank you so much, everybody, for being with us today. Until next time, America. Thank you. Thank you all. It was great.